Way too concerned. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're just a few feet away from that hotel, so if need be, we can find a good place for shelter. Anytime you're near one of the buildings, that's when you really feel that acceleration of the wind coming around the building. You head right out to the ocean front. The winds are a little calmer, but we're seeing them start to pick up more and more. We were in a lull. Now we've got another rain band coming to shore. Norfolk has been repeatedly gusting over 50 miles per hour. That will increase as the afternoon goes on. One thing that has not decreased that we'd like to see is the traffic. Uh, no shortage of incredibly, uh, well, I'll hold by my tongue, people who have been coming out. We're talking about dozens of people who have walked by me. And to be honest, I'm pretty much speechless at what we've been seeing in terms of how many people have been driving around. People like what you see behind me, which I apologize for. I don't even want to show it. At this point, I don't even want to show you anymore how many people are out and about, how many cars are driving around. It's just setting a bad example. And um, uh, honestly, this is depressing to watch at the moment. Uh, we've already had two people killed in North Carolina. One was killed going outside to feed his animals. Another person was killed driving around town. There are so many people driving around. We have a crew that's in downtown Norfolk right now. They said that they're coming across people who are pushing their cars through flooded streets, that there's flooding throughout the area, cars that are stalled. Carl, Dr. Knapp, I honestly fill the blank for me here because I'm kind of running out of words uh, to describe how many people are out and about in Virginia Beach. Uh, it is amazing. I mean, it, it's almost as if